It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey, and right now, uh, I believe, right now I'm going to be in Europe. Now, I called this video the time travel video because right now I'm recording this on February 12th just because I wanted to get a little prepared because I was going to be in Europe and I was going to be able to record videos out there. But right now, I'm hoping I'm putting out some vlogs and stuff for you guys to see if Wi-Fi persists. And you know what would be really awkward? I don't know if 3.0 is going to be out yet. I don't even know when the re release date is yet. But if it is right now, welcome to all you new 3.0 players. And if not, like I said, it's going to be really awkward because you guys <laughs> might not even be there yet. But, you know, just in case, guys, I just want to say welcome to the community, guys. I'm really excited to have you. And right now, I actually have some gameplay going on from 2.0. If this is even out or not, I have no idea. I don't even know when this is going to be up. I have no idea what's going to be out. I have no idea what the future holds. But right now, I'm recording this from 2012, baby. What am I saying? It's 2015, my lord. Oh, my gosh. But also, as you guys can tell, uh, the, the audio right now is exceptionally clear and i've actually kind of messed with the game some audio stuff i uh, talked to gordon he is the community manager at proletariat and he actually helped me gave me a little tips and knowledge about audio that i didn't really know about and i ended up messing with my gain a little bit on my audio and it actually really helped me to get a heck of a lot better audio quality get a lot closer to my mic and really just improve that as much as possible and as pretty much get it as high quality as i can want it because i want my voice to sound crystal clear now if you've even been paying attention, 2.0 is extremely different from 3.0 because you don't have the cooldowns. I can place as many people as I want down at once, and the strategy behind this is extremely different now. Right now, in the in the past, I haven't even touched 3.0 yet, <clears throat> and somehow I wish I could kind of prove to you that this is re being recorded right now, but you're, you're just going to have to take my word for it, guys, because I am, you know what? Uh, hmm. You know, I don't know how to do that, but what I will do is... You know, I'll put a clip in it in just a second. You know, I'm going to give you about uh, five, four, three, two, one, and pop. There's my face right there. I'm just going to be waving. I'm going to do something really stupid right there. Just so you guys know that it's being recorded in the past. I'll throw up my calendar on my phone and whatnot. I'll show, I'll prove it to you guys just so you guys know. But why am I saying, okay, let's get back to some gameplay. So I just won this. I'm going to go commentate to this guy for the rest of the time, guys time travel so um we're back in 2.0 right now and pretty much what i'm doing i'm hitting up some of my favorite maps favorite locations right now we're going to moscow this is probably one of my absolute favorite farming locations from when i was using 2.0 and i cannot complain with it at all it got me some great results gave me about 4,000 cans per attack and i really i only really had to deal with some runners daredevils and uh harbingers those were pretty much my worst enemies and the pit bosses right there that were coming out they weren't too bad of a challenge and I wasn't extremely worried with them. So basically what I would do is for my farming strategy here, if I had a machine gunner, I'd go ahead and use it. And I'd always use my borrowed troops to the, for this potential to kind of save stamina on my other guys. Although stamina isn't as key of a player in this beta update 2.0 back in the day. <laughs> if you guys, you know, this will be a fun little throwback someday. But um, yeah, it's this is pretty much my main strategy. If I had a machine gunner, I'd put it up in a very safe location protected by some form of close range gunfighter scatter shot mercenary uh any of those type of things to go ahead and knock those guys out <clears throat> oh my lord my voice you know this is what happens sometimes it just cracks i don't even know here let me get some water hold up time out there we go magical re hydrated all right guys so yeah i mean i had a pretty interesting little strategy going it's pretty much whatever i brought with me i try to keep as much of my guys unused as possible and sometimes i throw in some firefighters sometimes I throw in some lumberjacks emts just kind of whatever i had i had a surgeon and i was pretty much just farming as much as possible now this is what i would use to farm all my cans now um when in terms of crates that is when i started moving up into the events um guild raids things like that now that's pretty much what i used to get my crates and you're pretty much constantly getting crates guild xp random drops of coins things like that but i really got my bulk amount of crates from the events and i could probably get about 600 crates per attack if i got if it went well got a good time bonus got a good amount of trophies that would pretty much be my key now right now you know it's pretty easily being handled now these scatter shots pretty much holding down the fort holding down off those guys that are pretty close range until the machine gunner is warmed up and once he's warm it's game over for these guys and they are going to be eaten up very fast guys so <clears throat> some random thing just popped up on my screen Call me a German scholar. It's pretty random, but it works. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty exciting stuff. That works. Um, 
that's pretty much my main strategy. So we're hitting about the five minute mark on this video, guys. We got time was at 100. I couldn't play, complain with that. But I recorded this. I well, I recorded this like 10 minutes ago. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to throw it back to 2.0 just while we're in the midst of all this huge 3.0 mess. I don't even know what I'm gonna be uploading for this week around this point. But I thought I'd go ahead and pre-record this video because I will be in Europa. I will be up in the <clears throat> the fatherland. And that's going to be pretty exciting. So where am I going next? I think I checked my phone at this point. I kind of zoned out for a second. Come on. Come on, Joey. Go ahead and do something. Ah, I zoned out for a second. So it's going to be stuck on here for like five, ten. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Back to life. So I headed up to New York to go collect some of my stuff. Got 375 crates. Couldn't complain with that. And then when I was trying to off to kind of figure out where I want to go next. And I think I ended up at the car. Yeah. So I ended up at the car and I decided to kind of, you know, mess around with this. See what it would have in store for me. Because I haven't played the campaign in a long time. I don't entirely remember what the troop comps for these different cities were. I think I looked at my phone again here, guys. <laughs> uh, couldn't, I don't know. I got some important, I bet it was a very important message. Couldn't complain with it. But uh, went in with a very similar loadout here. And we are just keep on rolling, guys. So the car rallied to us. Pretty sweet. See what we got here. We got some runners, mortician, spitters. Uh, those are what are those guys? Gosh, guys, sometimes my zombie knowledge just, just kind of goes away for a minute. Uh, sprayers, and I believe we have some morticians back there. Yep, and brutes. Goodness gracious, we got all sorts of stuff in here. So I pretty much loaded up some of these guys. I'm hoping I will zoom in, but right here I throw. I'm pretty sure I threw a machine gunner, a couple snipers, and I ended up putting some fire chiefs up there just to kind of hold off the fire. And it, that little strategy up there kind of ended up backfiring because the machine gunner was too far back. He didn't have enough range to actually hit those guys. Mm. So that was kind of a bummer. Over here, I put some gunfighters to kind of protect the machine gunner and the sniper just until they warmed up, of course. Now, up here, this is probably one of my favorite parts of this attack. I zoom in up here, and there is going to be a delivery man coming, and he's going to blow up all of these zombies and the wall. I thought it was kind of ironic because he just took out all those guys without a chance. <laughs> they were... Hey, he did my job for me. He just took care of it. Now, over here, we have a huge, huge, massive horde here that just kind of got all round up, kind of corralled together, you could say, by the fence right there. And the machine gunner ended up finally getting in range of those guys and able to take all of them out for me. And those fire chiefs are just going down really quickly. They are still level 22. They're pretty strong, but sometimes just can't handle those spitters and sprayers and things like that. But it seems like we're managing to hold down the fort pretty well because that machine gunner has plenty of time to take them out. I throw down the Molotov cocktail to kind of take out some of those lagging drones in the back, guys. And we end up pulling out the win. Now, that's going to call it a day for this travel time travel video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this. And I hope you're all enjoying 3.0 beta if it's out and global if it's out. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys.